Kenya tamu sana tamu sana tamu sana Alia today president Uhuru Kenyatta toured Kenyatta market here in Nairobi and he took that opportunity to respond to William Ruto you know some few days ago William Ruto was in Kiambu and for the very first time he angrily attacked the president and then about one or two days ago during order party ndc where william ruto was crowned as order's presidential candidate william ruto also attacked the president so the president today responded to william ruto so in this video i want us to keenly listen in to president uhuru kenyatta because his response is actually going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion in this video. Listen into the president. Yes. Listening to President Uru Kenyatta, I'm seeing two things clearly coming out, which I'm going to explain here in details. But before we do that, in case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe give this video a like the first thing i'm seeing i'm seeing a relaxed and a calm president a happy president a president without any stress at all compare that to his deputy his deputy is coming out as very angry and under some stress and on attributing uru kenyatta's demeanor i can say that he's happy and relaxed because he knows that he has, is actually supporting the right candidate, a candidate most likely to win this year's election without any stress at all. And that can also be attributed to the mere fact that also Kalonzo Musyoka joined hands with Raila Molo Odinga. Because assuming Kalonzo could have not joined hands with Raila Molo Odinga, it could have forced Raila Odinga, the president and the Azimio team, to make sure they get at least 30% of the mountain vote. Because that 30% of the mountain vote could have just neutralized Kalonzo's vote that he could have actually walked away with. But now that Kalonzo is supporting Raila Mulu Udinga, Uhuru Kenyatta believes that with or without the mountain vote, his candidate Raila Mulu Udinga is going to win this year's presidential election with a lot of ease. And then President Uhuru Kenyatta is also happy because deep inside him, he knows that he's supporting the right candidate, the right candidate for the right job. Not only that he's supporting a candidate that is going to win, but he's supporting a candidate that he knows fully well will be able to deliver. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing Uhuru Kenyatta also happy because of that. And then the second thing I'm seeing, I'm seeing a president who knows how to talk to the masses, a president who is persuasive and very, very convincing. And if only Uhuru Kenyatta can translate that to the mountain, then I'm seeing a good majority of residents of Mount Kenya actually supporting Raila Molo Odinga. So William Ruto and his team should be praying very, very hard, or rather they should pray very hard for Uhuru Kenyatta not to step foot on the mountain to start his campaigns for Raila Molo Odinga. Because so far, President Uru Kenyatta has never stepped foot on the mountain to start aggressive campaigns for Raila Molo Odinga. But even in the absence of that, it's still clear Raila Molo Odinga is gaining ground on the mountain. So if only the president can now just go directly to his people in Mount Kenya to start campaigning aggressively for Raila Molo Odinga, I'm seeing him turning tables against William Ruto. And I know William Ruto's team might be panicking. They might be under a lot of stress. And actually, they are praying very hard for President Uru Kenyatta not to step foot there. And that's why sometimes we have been seeing William Ruto and his team actually pleading and begging the president not to go or rather to campaign for Raila Molo Odinga on the mountain. They want the president not to campaign for Raila Molo Odinga. They want the president just to retire. <laughs> 
and they are saying they want the president to do the wiki backing it. That is just a proof and an indication that they likely know that the day the president will step foot on the mountain to start his campaigns for Raila Molo Odinga, things will change on the mountain. And I'm also saying that because nationally, again, if you look at politics nationally, William Ruto was actually leading before the likes of Raila Molo Odinga declared their candidature and started campaigns. William Ruto was way much ahead. But when Raila Molo Odinga also hit the campaign trail, you can see that in a span of just weeks, Raila Odinga has overtaken William Ruto in all provinces except in Central and in Rift Valley. And I can also see that replicating on the mountain. The moment Uhuru Kenyatta, being the mountain kingpin, will now step foot on the mountain, something tells me very strongly that it will take Uhuru Kenyatta just some few days to actually reverse the gains that William Ruto had actually made there since 2018. And I'm also saying that comparing to what Raila Molo Odinga has also done to Ruto nationally. So Uhuru Kenyatta appear, comes out as a very good speaker. He's very conven convincing. He knows how to talk to the people. And if we can step foot on the mountain, he will convince his people to support Raila Molo Odinga. And should that happen, then it's clear that in this year's election, we might have a candidate winning with a super majority, with a landslide, a, somehow a replica of what we saw in 2002 when Uhuru Kenyatta contested against Mwai Kibaki. In fact, it's somehow a repeat because in 2002, Uhuru Kenyatta was being seen to be naive politically. He had not contested for the presidency before. And he was going against an experienced Mwai Kibaki who had actually run in 92 and also in 97. In this case, William Ruto is being seen as naive. He has never contested for the president. And he's going against a candidate who has contested for the presidency four times. Eh? In fact, out of those four times, three times it's alleged Raila Molo Odinga has been winning. So I'm seeing an inexperienced William Ruto going against a very experienced Raila Molo Odinga. So Uhuru is actually happy because he's supporting the right candidate, a candidate likely to win this year's presidential election with a lot of ease. That's what I'm seeing from that short clip of President Uhuru Kenyatta. And then again, it also just puts William Ruto on the spot that as a leader seeking the presidency, the top highest office in the land, William Ruto should tone down on his tongue or rather on his speech. William Ruto of late has actually been coming out as an insider. And in a video I did some few hours ago, we just exposed how William Ruto was actually inciting border borders to storm police station, to demand back their money and also to take back their motorbikes. Something I considered as an incitement. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when we were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya.